Uh, you may have heard at the top of the programme that uh, we were sitting here talking about uh, Martin Keown being unhappy with the running order. Well, he's decided to uh, change the the direction of the show again. He wants to he wants to talk focus on the strength of the England squad. Well, um, I, mean, I, I kind and, of and feel strongly that we're, I understand we're it. very I understand keen it. to talk about players that are not in the squad, aren't we? And so you want to talk about players? Are you that just aren't deflecting in the squad? from from the Arsenal not, Ben White not, chat here? Not at all. No, no, no he, doesn't, all. he doesn't want because, to talk about because we just spent an hour talking about Ben White. So I'm not trying to do that. I'm just going to want to give a shout out to how how impressive we look right now. So this this um, going through to the summer and looking at Phil Foden. And Anthony Gordon, actually, who uh, I think is already in good form. Well, let Palmer. me ask you this question then. What did you think of the England squad? When you, when you looked at that England squad yesterday, did you think this is the best squad that, uh, that, that Gareth Southgate could have picked? Was this in, in your was, Were you pleased that it wasn't necessarily the same old faces? Phillips, for example, was left out yesterday. He isn't in good enough form, according to, to the manager. Probably he isn't. did pick Jordan Henderson. He did pick Harry Maguire. But you've got some progressive names in there like Branthwaite, Gallagher, um, um, Anthony Gordon in for the first time, and Joe Gomez coming back after three yeah. years. I think of that's not the right the call, team. Gomez. I think if you look at his skill set, I think the, the ability that he has, he had a horrific injury, didn't he, playing for England where the patella tendon snapped on him. Yes, he did. So I think he's a, he's a player. You know, you look at it in Bramfweight, will Bramfweight go for experience? Chilwell is really important. We haven't really got a, a left back beyond that and if, unless Luke Shaw is going to be available. Dunk is an interesting one that's in there. Konsa. Um, is a, is also very mobile. Maguire, Stones, Walker look like they're going to be the, the three or if we're going to play a back four. I do feel Bellingham is uh, really doing fantastic stuff across Europe. Declan Rice, what a wonderful season he's having. So all of these players in top form. Gallagher is uh, now found his rightful position. He plays off the front. He really is like a, a one-man army in there. The way he presses, joins the attack, he's improving in front of goal. Um, and Anthony Gordon, I didn't think he got... Um, I'm not sure really the other day, watching what I saw with the physio, sort of trying to push him to the ground. Do you turn your phone to, off? Yeah, I'm, I'm waiting on a message, an important message here <laughs> from Ben White. <laughs> um, I didn't quite like it. I, I, maybe it just, I got the feeling that maybe no one really believed him that he had an injury. Well, Anthony Gordon. Yeah, I just had that feeling and I, I, I didn't could tell, like it. I was, I was doing the game actually. I could tell there was a problem in the early stages. He didn't look right right well, from the very the beginning. Well, let's trust the player. Let's trust the player. He's been magnificent this season. There was a bit of an odd video doing the rounds, and I saw it this morning for the first time, and you pointed it out, that um, the physio got a little bit sort of uh, over-eager, didn't he? Well, he pushed him to the ground, so don't do that to me. I, he's lucky I didn't... I'd have pulled him if it was me, because he kind of like felt like he wasn't really sure about what, what the problem was. Now, I know he looked indifferent in those first 15, 20 minutes. That can go against you if you're that type of player sometimes that wants to actually prove that you can stay out there. The same thing happened to me. And people then question you, you as a player, as a person, and it's not nice. Mm. I just sense that. Now, ha Eddie Howe can tell us otherwise. <laughs> but I, very you know, angry about at the end it. of the day, I think yeah, this is a player that is wholehearted, gives everything. He's I think brilliant. A good addition he's had for, a fantastic for, season. For England. And, it was, and he's um, versatile. It was well, unfortunate yeah. that he picked up an injury of some sort. Let's hope that. Um, well, he says he's okay for the weekend. Gone away. Well, no, Let's he doesn't say he's okay away. for the weekend. He says he's, he, he trained today and he's got, the, he's got a chance of being able to play. Well, if he's, if he's still there, then he can't really take that risk to go and join his country because he needs to be rightfully fit for, mm. for, for Newcastle. But he needs, he needs to join up, doesn't he? Because he, he's one of the players probably the minute you put in the maybe category. He is yeah. in the maybe category. He's in, yeah, he's in the grey zone. Uh, so um, he, he's, there's a possibility that if he makes a big impact, he can force his, his way in. Do you yeah. think Marcus Rashford is lucky to be in the squad still? <laughs> Larry? I do, actually. I do think, and I think it's time now for him to do something a little bit special, but he does give a little bit of something different, perhaps, with is his Is that pace. why he's in the squad? Because he has, he is an alternative to what else is there. I mean, you've got Foden, who's very tricky, who will end up playing on that left-hand side at this moment in time. But if they need an impact, if they need someone yeah, with real speed... Yeah, but if he's speed, an impact player, what I want him to, to do is to stay high and wide and away from the ball. I don't want him running with the ball. He seems to overdo it when he runs with the ball. Stay away from the, from the play and then make the difference high up the pitch. When he cuts inside, think of those goals he scored. When he cuts inside, mm. he scores those really good goals that he gets. His decision-making when he's got time on the ball is so poor when he when he can play off instinct like that goal against Man City he didn't really have time to think about it he's just smashed it into the top corner he looks a great player but when he's actually got time he gets the ball in around the penalty area well, you want him totally he engaged. constantly makes the wrong decision he doesn't look as if he's totally engaged do you know that's all I'd say in that you want him you can't afford to carry anybody when you've not got possession you can't it's not like you just press a button and you turn up and it's it's you know everything is 100 miles an hour it has to be controlled the really top players but it was last season I'm thinking season. back to playing against the Ronaldos the uh, the previous you know the uh, first Ronaldo he's like a panther every step is calculated every, nothing's rushed mm. sometimes with Rashford I think it's 100 miles an hour and it's a goal you could never score again but let's yeah. see the moments where the, you know where he's growing but he's in the squad 
you know, because obviously Gareth believes in him. But look, just looking at Ivan Tony, been out for nine months. You know, who's coming back and playing as well as he did? That that's a long time to be out of the game, by the is way. It, is he playing that well though? No goals in his I think last he's four did, games. I think he looks decent. I've had a close look at him. Okay. Yeah, he's playing. He was team. anonymous in the West Ham game. Yeah. I think he's looked a bit it's a struggling team right now. You've got to appreciate what he's around. And Ollie Watkins is another one I think gets better and better. Um Really effective. There's no scoring lots of goals. No, no one's scoring more goals and assists than, than Ollie Watkins. He, right he's now. the number two now, isn't he? Harry Kane, Ollie Watkins. I, I, don't, just I, don't, on Tony. I don't think you take three strikers. I don't. I, and I think you know you, you you were about to say on Tony. I don't think you need three strikers. If you're taking Rashford, you don't need Tony Watkins and Kane. You can have Kane. Then but Rashford Watkins. can't play down the middle. Well, you, he can play down the middle. No, he can't. Gordon can play down the middle. Can, does he demonstrate to you from Manchester no. United he's a front player? No, no. He's, Why he's, can't he's you much take three better strikers? Out wide? Why do you need to take three strikers? Why not? What, what, show, what, 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 show, what a show of a ten that is. No, but you don't you need to, to do you? Well, I, I think you do. Well, so you're going to take? I you're going to take Bowen, Kane, no, I'm not Rashford, saying, I'm not saying Tony, Bowen even makes the squad. Gordon, Watkins, Foden, Palmer, and Saka. I, I you're think, not going to take all of those players. That's not going to happen. I think Bowen is is is, is quite a revelation. Actually, he, he just won't go away. Well, the Bowen keeps... Bowen can play down the middle. Yeah. So you you got to think that gives him the edge. That's my point. You've got yeah, enough but... players that can play down the middle. You don't need to take three out and out strikers. I think Ivan Tony is a very difficult player to play against. Look what he did to the two Arsenal central defenders recently in a game where they've been brilliant actually, and he was like he was a problem. He's, he he makes himself known when he's up there against them. And I think Ollie Watkins is similar. I think I want proper. So this is a twenty five man forwards. squad. Who's going to miss out? Do you think well, Dominic Solanke is a little bit unfortunate? 17 goals this season. I know, I know Bournemouth I were really agitated that he didn't get the call up. Well, Who's I agree. he going to get in there ahead of? Well, is Tony playing well enough? I mean, Martin obviously thinks he is. Well, it comes down to, at the end of the day, who do you think is a better player? You know, that's what the manager's luxury, isn't it? That's his gift. And he I know Gareth he must, rated he must um, feel, Solanke. Oh, yeah, he, you used to love him. But yeah, maybe great, he feels yeah. that Ivan Tony's a slightly better player. Maybe he's a, you know, it comes down to a penalty shootout. Or maybe Ivan Tony puts that winning goal in for us. Who'd you know? be a better tourist? I've absolutely no idea. I don't know the. Do you know Percy? Know them that well? Well, obviously, we we, we know a bit more about Ivan Tony's personality. Yes, we have to trust the manager a little bit in all of this. What do you think? Do you think Tony would be a good tourist if he's not playing? Well, I, I, I don't think he's ever done it, so I think that's a. a that, Let's look at what they do. That would on the be a surprise. But on on, on I, I maintain the fact that I don't think you need to take three out and out strikers. I think you've got a versatile enough group behind that that you can take two out-and-out -out strikers and then you've got the others, the creative players behind that with different variation. Gordon, Rashford, Foden, Palmer, Bowen, who, Saka, obviously Saka's first name on the team sheet at the moment. Um, we're inclined, aren't we, to look at what, you know, you, you were looking here, perhaps what we haven't got. I think we've got some fantastic... The biggest talent. issue they've got is... Does, the Greenish, come back into, Rice in does Greenish come back into this group? I Not think. at the moment, no. No. I think, that, I think the door's left open for Greenish. And I think Ross Barkley, actually, is playing some of the best football of his career. And people don't want to go backwards, but I, t I don't see a many better well, midfield well, players than him right now. Well, well who would you put? Who well, this would is you the take thing. the midfield and put Ross Barkley I, in. I don't for? know. I'm just saying that I'm rewarding well, that's the someone. Question that you have. I'm rewarding have to, you someone who's playing very squad. well. Well, he's he must doing well. Be, brilliant. Okay, but who's he knock out that squad? Well, the only person really that might be is Henderson, but I think he's in there for his leadership skills, yeah. and I think he's actually um, very good within the group. The rest. Uh, Madison's done another player. We should not uh, forget about Madison. He's doing, but I think Bellingham plays off the front. Yes, I definitely. Think we now know that Bellingham plays off the front. So who are going to be the two sitters? Declan Rice definitely has to be one of those. Yeah. Do you, need, do you need two sitters? I'll tell you what, we'll come back to him in just seconds because we're getting very yes, late for the do, break. Yes, you do, you're up against it. Scott Minto said something interesting about Ross Barkley the other night, saying that when they were 3-0 up in that game, he didn't take that game by the scruff of the net. When they started to lose ground against Bournemouth, he didn't get, didn't get dig in, didn't show the leadership qualities that you would expect him to show if he wants to be considered I think he's been immense, be, Ross Barkley. But it's not a progressive step, step. it's I not think, a forward step. I'll tell you what, we'll come back to it in just a second. They wouldn't make two oh, passes three, seven, one, seven, double two, double three, double four is the number to call. Jim White and Simon Jordan. Monday to Friday mornings from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.